last time we started the blanket and we worked the first few rows um, to get started. This time we're going to be moving on to these granny rows here, that's section one. So we're going to start on the first section which is grannies and we're using this nice double denim colour yarn. So I'm going to join in the colour the same way as I did before. I just have that yarn sitting on top. I just hook my other yarn through and just pull that end over the back of the hook so that when I work the first chain those two ends will be lying on there and they're stuck in between so that just helps secure them in place. If you um, aren't comfortable just sort of holding them like that while you make that first chain or that feels a bit slippery to you you can always just tie that other colour on um, that's something I used to do and um, it just made it all feel a little bit more secure but uh, but now I'm happy just to um, have them hang in there and I'll weave them in later. So this um, section it begins with three chains again now instead of working into the next stitch the second stitch as I talked about before for this pattern it actually says or well, for this section, sorry, this stitch pattern, it actually says to make two more treble stitches or US double stitches into the same place. So in other words, where your chain is worked here, you want to be working into that exact same place for these next two stitches. So that's what I'm going to do there. So we've got a group of three stitches in that one place there. And when you do groups of stitches like that, particularly if it's uh, trebles or US doubles, it could be um, a group of three or more, that's usually referred to as a shell. So we skip two stitches, so we don't work into this one, we don't work into this one, and then our next stitch is made into this one. And it says to make three stitches into there. So what we've created there is a little gap between our shells. So we this um, for this pattern we just carry on along the row in the same way. So I'm at the end of the row now. Um, you can see all the gaps where I've been skipping stitches, and I just need to work into this last stitch there. So I've got my two stitches that I need to skip. And then instead of working three stitches this time, I just need to make one into the end. And I'm actually going to cut the colour for this. So here's my completed uh, row, the first row of the grannies. And as you can see, it works out nicely to the last stitch. Now if yours doesn't for any reason, you may be because you've skipped the wrong amount of stitches so you might have only skipped one or maybe you've skipped three somewhere so just go back and check that you've got the a gap of two stitches between every one and if that's correct then it might be that you've got too many or not enough stitches here you've perhaps lost one somewhere along the way or gained one or sometimes it's easy to gain a few or lose a few so if you've checked this and you've uh, checked this and you've found you've got um, the wrong number there's two things you can do when this sort of situ situation arises. You've got the fix or the fudge. So if you want to fix it, you can rip back, undo um, your row and uh, fix wherever the mistake was and correct it and you'll be uh, off back on track. Or you can fudge it. So let's say, for example, you've missed out two stitches down here. You've somehow lost them. Well, what I would do is whilst I was working, working along this whole width I would just occasionally I would skip one stitch here and then I'd go on skipping two and then I'd skip one stitch later so those two lost stitches I would then create, correct as I sort of work this next row so then once if I had the, the right number of shells I'd just carry on like that so it depends what your personal feeling is on it whether you prefer to uh, have it right or whether it's something that's going to bother you and you want to fix it. 
or whether you're happy just sort of say oh it's only a few stitches and in the whole blanket overall it won't make any difference I'll just fudge it and sort of make it work so it's up to you on that one but let's um, put our second colour on so I'll join my colour, my next colour in and to begin this row again we work three chains so that's the equivalent of a treble, a UK treble or a US double so for this second row we don't actually work into the stitch again we're going to work into the spaces between the shells so in this gap here so for this first one it's between this first stitch and the shells so you want to get right underneath and into that gap and then we work two stitches and move my yarns out the way and then I can just continue working into these gaps across the row and then again for this row I've worked into all the spaces so now I just finish by making a one treble and that will go into the last stitch of the row below So now you can carry on adding some more granny rows in the same way that we've added this last row here. 